It's a stark contrast from where the city of Detroit stood just a decade ago. Mayor Duggan says the city's financial struggles are firmly in the rear view, so today he turned his attention to the future, explaining how his proposed budget for 2025 should make the city safer and more sustainable for Detroiters. Rod Maloney live on that for us tonight. Still plenty, of course, that needs attention, Rod. You may not recall this, but back in 2015, Mayor Mike Duggan presented the city council with his first budget out of bankruptcy. It was $1.1 billion. Today, 10 years later, at least for the fiscal year 2025, he presented a $1.4 billion budget, marginally larger. But one thing we know is certain, and that is that the city's financial fortunes are infinitely better than they were the mayor saying job growth increased city income tax income, allowing it to do things unimagined a decade ago. The first being able to pay a required $150 million for city retiree pension obligations that he's adding more to, but leaving the overall budget pretty tight. We have $170 million in pension retiree obligations we did not have two years ago. Uh, and that $170 million is owed. I believe it's not just a legal obligation, it's a moral obligation. He's looking to add 117 new DDOT bus drivers and 20 more buses, asking for $29 million for elections, solid waste, more fire, EMS, and police coverage, and an additional $15 million for summer police overtime. We filled 200 last year, we'll fill another 150 this year. But even with that, there is a need for more police officers in the street in the summer. Then, pointing to the train station Ford's transforming and recalling resident pushback to tax breaks, he said we city council's courage and frugality was vital. That train station would be empty, that Michigan corridor would look like. The success we are having today is a direct result of the courage of you and your predecessors uh, over the last 10 years. And I know some of you still have some of the scars from some of those decisions. Yes, imagine city council and the mayor getting along. I mean, for us old timers, that's something new. Now, let's take a look at the kind of cash the city has on hand to make sure it can meet its obligations. The Pension Protection Fund, $450 million. The Rainy Day Fund, $150 million. This is the kind of sustainability, even when they came out of bankruptcy, could only have been hoped for at the time. Devin, back to you. So, Rod, as we wait to see how this uh, goes over with council, give us an idea of the schedule here. Well, okay, uh, let the negotiations begin, right? I mean, that's what happens yeah. here. They do have to talk. City council members were very uh, uh, accepting of the mayor's budget. Uh, they seemed to get it. They had some specific things they wanted to work on. It is a negotiation. They'll have the budget hearings over the next uh, about month or so, and then the fiscal year begins in July. All right, Rod.